This is the new Audi A3 Sportback. Now you might be wondering what's new about it. Well, it's had a bit of a facelift. So some fresh bumpers front and back. As standard across the range, you get Xenon headlamps and they're automatic. So too the windscreen wipers and cruise control is standard across the range as well. And if you get the S-Line version, you get rear indicators which pulse. There is a price to pay for these extras though. And that's an increase of 500 pounds like for like. But to put that into perspective, 500 quid will only get you a weekend for two in a lodge at Centre Parks. Exactly. Now, the A3 is actually quite a good value car when you think about what you get for your money. So it's very desirable. It starts from just under £20,000, but you can still save some money on that if you click up there to go to carwow.co.uk to find out the best deal you can get on a new Audi A3. Now, on the inside, the A3, well, it looks a bit like business as usual. So you've got a nice, smart, easy to operate design and quality is very good. Most of the materials pass the Carwow flick test. There are hard plastics down here, but everything feels really solid. Now, Audi has upgraded the car with its latest infotainment system. So as standard, you've got Android Auto and Apple CarPlay connectivity, which is brilliant. You can also get the car with Audi's excellent virtual cockpit. So everything you see there is now right in front of the driver because you've got digital dials and you can cycle through the different menus. I love that system. Now, if you click up there, you can get more information on that in our in-depth infotainment review. You'll be able to have another look around this car's cabin. And well, on the whole, it's quite practical in here. So look, door bins are huge, take a big bottle. And even those in the back of the car, look at this, they can take it as well. Now, the A3 Sportback is slightly longer and therefore there's more room in the back than in the A3, the three-door version. And look at this, you've got loads of knee room, Loads of headroom. People over six foot will be fine back here. There's only two of you. You can fold this down and you've got like a cup holder area there. But if you want to carry three, while this seat is quite wide, it does feel high and there's a big lump in the floor there. So that combined with the fact this body is quite narrow does mean it's not quite as good with three in the back as a Mercedes A-Class, but with two, it's the best in this class. So moving on to the boot. It's about average for this size of car, but it is very well thought out. So there is a bit of a load lip, but it's not too big, but you do have some underfloor storage. And what you can actually do is raise this floor up if you want to, to reduce that load lip. And when you fold the seats down, which look, you can do on certain models, 40, 20, 40, you'll see that they lie completely flat. There's some other features in here which are useful, such as tethering points. You've got hooks, you've got storage areas there. The only thing that's missing is a 12 volt socket, but hey, I'll let it off because otherwise this boot is very practical. Now, if you want to see just how much stuff you can cram into this Audi A3 Sportback, click up there to watch our in-depth practicality video. You'll also be able to see how easy it is to fit a child seat in the car and what it's like with three people in the back. So far, the A3 is a really impressive car and this continues out on the road. Now, the Audi A3 may well be based on the Volkswagen Golf, but because Audi is the posher brand, it just feels more luxurious to drive and it does everything well. So it's comfy, it's reasonably quiet, and while it might not be as fun as the sporty bit of the one series, it still handles very well. And the sports seats in this S-Line model really do hold you in place. Visibility is excellent as well. There's no real obvious blind spots. And if you click up there, you can see for yourself by joining me for a 360 degree passenger ride video. You can now get the Audi A3 with an all new one litre three cylinder turbo petrol engine and it's very good. But if you can afford an extra £2,000, try to upgrade to the 1.4 TSI because that is hot hatch quick and it also gives very, very good economy. This is the two litre diesel with 150 horsepower and yeah, if you do lots of miles, it's gonna suit you this car. It's punchy and reasonably economical. So Audi says 67 miles per gallon. My trick computer says 56. That's really good actually. So too is the manual gearbox. It's nice and light. And the autos are impressive as well. And if you want some extra grip, you can get the A3 with quattro all wheel drive. Though it's not as though these front wheel drive cars struggle for traction. And on the whole, this is a really impressive car that I've told the fault. Maybe that makes it a little bit dull but not in my mind. So far, so good then. But there are some minor issues with the Audi A3. Here's five of them. Don't get too carried away with the options, otherwise the cost soon mounts up. This one is £32,000. Ah, it's about as much as an A6. Don't bother putting the car into dynamic mode because then the steering gets artificially heavy. Should be called damn it mode. 
If you go for the lowered sporty suspension, large wheels, then the ride becomes less comfy and the car noisier. Audi came third from bottom in the latest UK JD Power dependability survey. Oh dear. While both the manual and automatic gearboxes are great, the auto can be a bit jerky at manoeuvring speeds. However, the Audi A3 does have plenty of cool features which helps to make up for all this. Oh, that's absolutely gorgeous. I'm not talking about me, I'm talking about the frameless rear view mirror. All Audi A3s get independent rear suspension for a luxurious ride. The emergency assist will automatically slow the car to a halt if you stop steering, say if you've fallen asleep or died. The optional matrix LED headlamps can shut off part of their beam to prevent dazzling other drivers. With Audi phone box, you get wireless charging for your mobile and it can even boost the signal by using the car's aerial. So then, overall, what do I think of the Audi A3 Sportback? Well, it's not the most exciting car in the world and the options are quite expensive, but it feels like a quality product and it's lovely to drive. Now, if you click up there, you can get more information and find out the best deal you can get on an Audi A3 at carwow.co.uk. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and subscribe to our channel. And if you click over there, you can watch our detailed practicality, infotainment, and 360-degree passenger drive video 